Hey, I'm the Catholic Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 24 Yeti, episode 30. Uh, we're continuing on with the uh, tour of Denmark, and there's a couple stages left to go, and opportunities to try to compete for the overall, while we're struggling just a little bit to compete for stages. Had a breakaway of three, and I managed to get Chang among those three. Chang currently sits fifth place overall just nine seconds down and the intermediate sprints with three seconds available at each and today four of them would have been a huge opportunity to potentially move into the race lead or certainly up onto the podium and he was into the break and he was successful and then a secondary group attacked and the field decided that that group combined with the group already off the front was too many riders that group was able to make contact with Chang's group and then they pulled the entire thing back. Chang did not have the energy to attack. In fact, you can see he's just barely recovering as is right now. With protection, I went to plan B. I already had plan B in my head before the stage ever started, and that is our next best placed guy. That's Lubers. He's 46 seconds down, but we can move him well up the order. And they are looking like they might work it was five riders and the chase was hard and they were quickly going through energy no coming down and suddenly and it seems like it's going to be okay so these guys don't want to work as hard 3.9k to the first intermediate sprint point and lubers is looking set looking poised am i going two and a half k to go we're we're out to the two minutes so we dropped one rider brought it down to four and they decided that that was good enough Lubers now needs to try to claim, 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 here we go. Claim the intermediate sprints. He can gain 12 seconds today, which still is too far out. It's 34, but they aren't even contesting it. Love it. And two of the three climbs are already behind us, so that that's actually where things really broke up last time. Um, we're going to sit on for a little bit and try to recover. Chang is also recovering now that they've sat up, so he'll be good to go. He'll have... He's a little worse for wear for the effort, but not too bad off. Let's set ourselves up for at least light participation. Recovery will happen in time. We're already down inside 100k. Coming up on the second intermediate sprint, and Louvers is quite tired again, but he gets the six seconds now total gained today. Uh, the, the last mountain one... Uh, they all attacked. I attacked with Lubers as well, but just didn't go full out. He was a few seconds behind, but I had things sped up, and he should have made easy contact. But I was having a little trouble with the the buttons, and it didn't want to give me the bar. I ended, eventually ended up having to click on his name to get it to up the effort. And by the time that happened with it sped up, and I didn't immediately slow it down, it took a bit before we got back in contact, so we're we're looking a little tired now, coming up on 1K. Let's take it again. This will be nine seconds gained. Now a chance to recover. Everybody else is looking good. Chang is looking great. We're, we're back. We're fine. Gaps down to a minute 30, but we should still be out for the last intermediate sprint. I'm not going to work with Lubers anymore. Two reasons. One, I need him to recover. Two, I'd rather, rather see the group fail. At this point, if the group fails, Chang can go get those three We're seconds. The last third of the race. We'll soon know the final outcome. So I'll take our chances on that one. Keep it a close eye. 12k to go and just a one minute gap and it's coming down pretty quick. 52k. Let's go ahead and get water taken care of. Final time to do it. And yeah, 39 seconds coming down fast. They are sitting up. 9 9k to go. Okay. Okay. We are going to want a lead out for Chang. It's not going to be Luber. Well, no, I want Lubers because I want Lubers to get second across the line, if possible. And so we are going to use Luber. He's recovered already. How are we doing on that water? Walters is close, 8.5K. Watching close to see what happens, make sure nobody's taken off. And nobody is taken off right now. Get the water taken care of. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 7K still. 7k no pace makes it easy it's just fitting through walters you have space ride ride walters finish the job get to lubers get to lubers okay he's there 6k all right so we're going to use walters for this one and then lubers and chang so walters to lead it out we're at 6k this also sets the tempo 
5k. Speeding up. The peloton has slowed down a bit. Sprinting. Sprinting and sprinting. Walters will fall behind them. Lubers. Sits up. I think I got that time just right. Luber sits up. Chang gets three seconds. Lubers gets two more. Chang did get over the line first, so three seconds for Chang, bringing his Look deficit out. down to six. Away. Lubers picked up two more seconds, so he got 11 today, bringing him down to 35 seconds behind and certainly helping to improve his position. Action from Domestique's breakaway bear door type riders. Twenty five K, the intensity of our late push here and chasing down that one rider who's down to his final legs here. He does have a forty second advantage, but the, the push has been hard enough that the Peloton has split multiple times and there there is definite fatigue in the legs of riders. Uh, before I go any further, let's gel for Walters. Let's get a few more kilometers. Little bit of a climb there, but nothing much to it. And I think we're going to make this left-hander and then form our train. Pretty technical through here, and it looks like we're on a circuit now to the end. So there's, it's going to be one of those occasions where you absolutely want to be out front. Walter's okay place, but not perfectly placed, so he's definitely going to go early. Chang is going to follow Lubers. Shu, uh, do I want Shu to sprint? No, Shu is going to lead this thing out, but Lubers isn't going to win the sprint. We're just trying to improve his position, so Lubers will lead out Shu. Shu will lead out Chang, even though Chang is not the fastest guy. Is Hallinan next? Yes, the flat rating. Sophia also. And then Abdullah following Walters. There you go. Off we go. 18k to go. Abdullah in position, but Sophia is not. Sophia needs some help pulling the team through. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Very technical. So you've got to get out front. You've got to get, keep it there. So starting to speed up. 14.7. Will these guys set up with him? No, they do not sit up at all. Allen and Luber, Shu, Chang, everybody's in position. Good, 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 good. 13K. There's that little hill. Did not pull us out front any further. 10K. Wow, look how quickly we just went line. backwards. Big acceleration as they transferred to their second rider. So it all quick step. Looking quick. The riders are closing at 8K. the last eight kilometers of the stage, which will most likely end up in a mass sprint. Abdullah, it's 8K. We do not need a second go. Walters, we gotta just be ready to peel out. He's about to run out of energy. And it's happening right now, so peel him out of the line. 6K. Still can't get ahead of uh <laughs> Sadal Quick Step. They are gonna be tough Five to beat. Who is to their the sprinter? Line. Wellsford. Awesome. So the best sprinter has the best lead out. We can't even get ahead of him. Right, right now I think we're racing for second. Sophia's done. 4.8. I don't want a soft sprint, but I feel like I have no choice in the matter. At 3k we will sprint with Hallinan. And Lubers. This is helping us get out there. Remember, it's technical. It's technical. Lubers. Shoo. Chang. Shu still out front. Chang. Can he get a top three? Can he get a win? Can he get a win and make it a one, two? Is you? <laughs> yes. He can thank his teammates who let him out in perfect condition. Stage four victory. Chang and then Shu and we hold off Wellsford. Oh, hell yeah. This stage was a Man, that's a huge set. result. The, the win for Chang, his first, but the 10 second time bonus plus the 3 second time bonus, 13 seconds in bonuses. What else for we gotta watch out for though? Asia comes with 7 3 1 nations. The Baltics has just 2 nations, but one of them is a 3 3 nation, Estonia. So it's 
kind of good either way. Estonia is probably going to be stronger than the seven Asian nations that we get, though. Uh, but you get more opportunities in riders with seven nations. Either way, we might be headed for both victories if we can hang on to the overall. But let's see what we're going to get. Asia, or is it going to flip over to Baltic Sea? So, Asia, seven nations added. Snowballed in Uzbekistan, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Cyprus. The last one being Azerbaijan. There was also separation in the field after 35th place, a minute down. That's going to shake things up even more, and our team was all over that top 35. The general standings, Chang leads by three seconds over Ulig, and then Strong. It's not a dud deal yet that we could take the overall, but obviously we're in the driver's seat at this stage. But Ulig and Strong are both very capable of podium uh, finishes, and Wellsford does move up a little bit with that, but he's still 17 seconds down. Lubers moves up seven spots into the top 12, 37 seconds behind. Hallinan at a minute 13 is 14th, and Abdullah is up to 17th at a minute 23. So you're down to really just those who are within that 10 seconds uh, for being in contention. We lead, we are gonna have to control the Peloton from here. Can't see the profile for the final st Stage. But you just see this, that's the circuit that we're going to do six times to end the stage. And added bonus, Taiwan goes up a point from two to three with Cheng's victory. Quick check-in, way easier to do this pause than it is to do this live. So final stage, Pidcock, not Tom, uh, Hagstead, Zervinsky, who's a minute 24 down. That's the one you got to watch out for. He also just attacked and gained at least one second. Uh, so we want to make sure this group does not hang on and win. Kagevi, none of these guys are a threat. But there's eight of them. We are minute 54 up the road. Vandermeer, uh, Alpacin Dukenic is helping. So we do have some support. But I've got four guys riding on the front. And they've got four guys riding on the front, so we've got two teams working together with eight riders currently riding at a 64 to keep these guys at a comfortable position up the road. I'll probably uh, rotate these four if they start getting tired, sending one of them to uh, get some rest and relaxation. Chang gets a plus five today to defend his overall lead, which he might need because he's a pretty poor fighter, so I'm really glad he's got that. Uh, Lubers, the other one who is sitting back while Abdullah is the one offering protection. Front group not being together and those three attacking and getting those little time bonuses helps us because it weakens the group overall, plus it's, you know, smaller gap. It's only a minute and a half to the five. I'd love to see it wind up just being three. And another team... Joining in with Watts riding now at the front. Those guys all riding harder than uh, my four. So it's actually really not the that tired into my four. And minute, I'm thinking the about making the it two then. Uh, what I want to do is I want the best away. climbers to come back to me. That's going to be uh, Walters for sure. Walters is one of them. So Walters come back and protect Lubers. And we'll go three for a little bit. Sophia is looking the strongest and we've split the field, the pack is increasing its including work off my teammates. So, sit back for a moment. There you go, back together. Uh, I'm going to let Zhu do all the work for us right now as there's you know two other teams contributing. Front group is getting smaller and coming back, and there's only two more of those climbs little less chaos ahead of us but so far it's been chaos we're down to 69k this is a short stage that's part of why there's chaos happening out there right now makes it make a lot more sense final stage too i don't need to worry about time cuts though a guy like Zhu, a minute and a half down 22nd overall uh, i'm less worried about him and his position and what that means but there's 35 riders off the back already and that gap could end up going out, but they're working hard to chase it down. They, they have enough energy left. 
But at 62k, we only need to get water once. Let's uh, let's send Helen in to do that. Down to three riders at the front and a two minute advantage. Same three that it's been for a while. So those others have slowly but surely come back to the group. Shu doing the work right now. I think this might be kind of the end of the line for him on that task. I think I'm gonna bring up uh, Hallinan to take over now and Zhu to just sit on. Try to make it to the end of the stage. Sophia is Bunker. way down the order. So why don't you go ahead and protect Zhu uh, to help him. This is the, the looping circuit, by the way, that we're going to be on at the finish line. Only a few riders are capable of following the very fast pace up front. Gaps. Opening and closing regularly. About 121 settled in, and those front three are down to uh, just a minute 13. Is Helen in the one doing the damage? No. His team in red is. Whew, it's Sophia. And Abdullah. Abdullah! What happened to Abdullah? Second time on the circuit. Five and a half times we will take it. Front three also starting to split up. That's a group and we're seeing but big attacks. They're all getting back in the saddle. Hold, Somebody hold, says hold, that, hold that thought. Hold that thought. What do we got? Sorry, eight and a half minutes down. Hauxted, this was the breakaway riders from before. And Porter. Okay, no threats coming off the front right now. Those guys can go win themselves a stage. All right, we need to turn up the effort on these two to get back into position. Chang, what's going on? Chang was standing still. Uh, there was a notice and a, a message about a flat. It, I didn't see a pop-up, but Chang was literally standing still and now is out of contact and going backwards and all sorts of splits and crap. <laughs> um, this is the overall race leader, so it is time with 26k to go to act and it's going to start with Abdullah or Sophia. No, Sophia. Abdullah's going to follow. Chang's going to follow that. <sighs> Crap. Come on. I didn't see a flat tire notification, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. He was literally just standing still when we came up on him and he was just starting to pedal again a moment later. Uh, Zhu, drop back. Allen in, you're not going to work. 44 Walters left in the front. Walters, Gel. Shu is here, okay. Shu, get in line. This thing is so technical, it's, it's going to be a hard chase. And with the climbs. 41 chasing. Hallinan got dropped, so if he got dropped, he might as well wait and get in line. There he is. Okay, the what's the gap like? The last of the stage. Sophia still able to ride forward even though he has no red bar. Um, Zhu barely has anything. I might as well get Zhu in front for a moment, so let's get Zhu. ride this flat section in a moment and then Sophia can get a little red bar back and then take over again. 13k. Ubers and Walter still up front but we're a minute and a half behind those guys. She was done on to Sophia once again. Chang is there. See you later Zhu. And we've had some bad luck. Huh? 10 kilometers to the finish line. Okay, we split the group, and it all comes back together in an instant. 17 riders left here. Oh, I practically want them to sit up, but I don't want them to sit up. 8K on to Hallinan. Sophia, just grab onto Vec. Oh, Hallinan, Hallinan, come on. 
he joined in and had his rating of what he had, 7K. One minute behind Lubers. I think I saw a few riders on the ground. Julian Alaphilippe wins the stage ahead of Sean Flynn, and we are already one minute behind. Chang approaching. He's made up a lot of ground. Lubers gets 11th off the front 10. Ulig was there. Strong was there. They're going to win. The flat tire has cost us the overall. So we only got one win. So we are still seeking one last pro win. Uh, the good news about that is it means we still have something to aim for because we're going to have a whole nother year in Continental, which means we're not into those World Tour races until we get con Continental Pro. So there's one more win to seek. <sighs> that sucked, though. Bad timing on that puncture. Uh, we did well to recover, but we didn't get all the way back. So Lubers was 36 seconds down. It was a minute 23 to Chang. So in the general, Ulig wins. Strong takes second. Philipson gets third. Uh, Lubers takes fifth. Chang takes sixth. Alaphilippe moves up to seventh. Uh, Abdullah takes 12th. Hallinan takes 18th. Good team points, but none overall. Uh, points classification goes to Albert Philipson. Hagestead, Hagestead takes the mountain classification. Ulig and Philipson are 1-2. And we drop to second in the team classification. Very unlucky there, but it happens. We'll move on to the next race. But that is going to do it for this episode, as that was two big races and a snowball for us. Down to just two more Pop 3 Nations before we have the entirety of them. And then have a whole new phase of the game from there. And so I suppose it's good that there's still that one more race, because that whole new phase... We've got to hit Continental Pro before we can enter it. In the short term, that is without a doubt our primary goal from this stage going forward. That's going to do it for this one, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.